Welcome to another studio tutorial. In this video we're going to cover adding and styling text. In our elements panel we can drag and drop some text here and let's just drag this right here in the center and we can see that the text is really hard to read. So I'm going to type in this is a header and to style this text we can come up in the top bar under text and the first thing we want to do is add some white text and we have a white preset right here. We can also change the font and the weight so if I want this to be a little bit heavier and we have a few other properties we can use. So the spacing here, we can change the character spacing, the line height, which you can't see because there's only one line, and the size. So I want to create a 36 pixel header. And we can also work with the alignment here, left, center, and right. And to show you a few of these other properties, I'm just going to add another piece of text here. So we'll come right here. And I'm going to style this by adding another white color. And let's just paste in some boilerplate text here, just so we can see this a little bit easier. And now that we've done that, I'm going to click away. I can change the line height here. I can change the size. Let's say I want this to be 16. And I can also set this to be italic and set the opacity if I want. If I want this to be a little bit more transparent, maybe we'll do a 0.6. And we can change that. Now, in addition to styling using the text properties, I can also come up here into the box properties and add a little bit more styling here. For example, this text butts up against the edge of the web page. So if I go over here into padding, I can click once to lock both the left and right side. And let's add 100 pixels here so that we have some nice padding here on the left and right. We can always resize that here if we want. And we can also do a few other styling changes to the box that will affect this text. For example, if we want this text to have its own background, for example, we can come over here under Fill. Let's add a black fill. And let's make it a little bit more transparent. So we can see that fill here. And then we can add some padding to this box. Let's do that. And we can add a little bit of margin here on both sides. I'm going to lock this. Let's do, uh, in fact, we can set 200 pixels on all of these sides. And then maybe the padding here, we wouldn't have as much padding. So now if I click away, you can see how in just a few clicks of the box styling, we were able to add a black transparent background to our text. And we can also do things like add some shadows, add a white border if we'd like. Let's do one pixel white border. And let's lock that to all four sides. And you can see just how much control we have over editing the box that contains our text and the text itself.